We've already estimated the four caissons that support the pile cap and irregular shaped column that we see here. So let's estimate the remaining items. Using the pile cap estimating extension tool from the item assignment toolbar, we click on points in a clockwise fashion. Moving to the quantity list, we input information in the appropriate cells. Pile cap depth of 54 inches. Rebar mat bars 12 inches on center each way. A single mat by default with a rebar lap distance of 48 diameters by default. Choose the mat rebar size. Next we'll add rebar for an area mat under the irregular column. Define the area in a clockwise fashion. And supply the information in the quantity list. Notice the default responses. Next, we add the rebar for the irregular column pile cap connection. We check the rectangular column checkbox and input the quantity of vertical rebars on each side of the rectangle. Answer zero to the circular count. Choose the rebar size. Note the default inputs. Opening the quantity worksheet, we see that the quantities we have just estimated are here. Switching to the Excel file for this project in the Add-ins item on the menu bar, we click the Refresh button and the Excel file has all current quantities from the eTakeoff project. Switching back to eTakeoff, we'll finish this by estimating the irregular column that sits on this assembly. Choosing Columns Irregular from the Item Assignment toolbar, we begin our takeoff by clicking on a corner and proceeding in a clockwise fashion. Radius outlines are accomplished with three points and then striking the letter C on the keyboard. Moving to the quantity list, we again input responses noting that there are some default entries. You may recall that the input for the verticals from the pile cap was 8 on the long side and 4 on the short side. This is actually only 20 bars. Enter the rest of the data.
Refresh the Excel worksheet again. It now reflects the current status of the project that we've been working on. If you have questions regarding this or any other capability of this software, please contact me.